I'm David. My family hired Ken Paxton to help us with legal documents. Ken also suggested we give our investments to his friend to manage. What Ken Paxton didn't tell us was he was getting kickbacks on our money. That's wrong and illegal. Ken's friend went bankrupt and we lost our money. But Ken got his and he's still doing this even today. I wouldn't trust Ken Paxton as our Attorney General. Dan Branch, registered union lobbyist, liberal Republican. He voted to give special privileges to labor unions that backed Obama. Voted to give driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. And Dan Branch even sponsored legislation that would expand access to late-term third trimester abortions. A Dallas-Fort Worth state senator who wants to be the state's top law enforcement officer admits he broke the law. Today, the state securities board fined McKinney Republican Ken Paxton. According to the agency, Paxton solicited clients for an investment advisor, but he did not report the outside income. Hi, I'm Rick Santorum, and you may be wondering why I'm endorsing state senator Ken Paxton to be the next attorney general of the state of Texas. The reason is, is because Texas is a leader among states and has been the leader in fighting President Obama and Attorney General Eric Holder on their assault against the rights of states. Ken Paxton. Paxton admitted he was guilty of repeatedly breaking the law to enrich himself, taking kickbacks, admitting to a felony. Police in Paxton's hometown withdrew their support. Desperate, Ken Paxton is now lying about Dan Branch's record. Lies ruled as false. Ken Paxton, he broke the law. Now he's just lying. In the race for attorney general, there's only one constitutional conservative like Ted Cruz. Ken Paxton stands and fights, whether it's against Obamacare, whether it's fighting for voter ID, or whether it's fighting to defend our religious liberty. And I'm proud to say Ken Paxton is my friend and fighting hard for the state of Texas.